way to interpret Shakespeare, and it was fun and exciting and funny all at the same time. I just said to Mr. Edwards that I had more fun than I thought I could have at a Shakespearean show. <laughs> it is filled with the kind of icons that will bring you into uh, how modern the play truly is. If you like Beethoven, if you like uh, ballet, if you like the highest arts, there's something about Shakespeare that is everything that is human. It's about a man who really screws up very badly with his family and gets a second chance. Then, even now, I might have looked upon my queen's full eyes, have taken treasure from her lips, and left them more rich for what they yielded. There is nothing like Shakespeare on earth, really. Uh, I've, never had, I've never had an experience with Winter's Tale where I haven't been moved by just simply reading the words off the page. I'm not a person that did a lot of Shakespeare, so I will recommend this show for anybody, no matter how young or how old. Definitely come and see The Winter's Tale. It is amazing. Act One is a stylized, glamorous world of the 1950s. This jealousy is for a precious creature beautiful looking in reds and blacks. She's an adulteress! The second act, and it's a character of time that I'm not going to tell you about because it's a really surprising way that time comes in and tells us that the world is now 16 years later, has a very, very 60s cultural look to it. To this I am most constant, though destiny say no. Because Shakespeare is not a museum piece, he writes about us, he writes about our problems, he writes about jealousy and lust and anger and hatred. Therefore, they take me to nothing but this chair. This is what we all live through every day, right? <laughs> Come and see something remarkable. Come and see something that you will be surprised how much you enjoy it. It's Shakespeare's Winter's Tale. <laughs>